CataractCoach.com. Microspherophakia, cataract surgery. There are numerous challenges in this rare condition. Dr. M.S. Ravindra is our guest surgeon. Look at the pre-op exam. When the patient dilates, the dilation is bigger than the lens diameter. So you can see the lens caps are back equator, 360 degrees. Here on the OR table, you see that same view. Now, this is a tough case because this lens is very odd in its dimensions, plus the zoner support is very weak. And so we'll make that incision here and put some viscoelastic inside the eye. Now, the key here is how do we create that rexus? So to create a caps rexus is tough because this lens has a very weak zoner support. So when you go grab that anterior lens capsule, it's going to tend to wrinkle on you. So Dr. Ravindra has a nice technique here. So using the blade, the side port blade in one hand and the left hand, and the right hand will be a cystotome. And so the blade is piercing the lens, and you'll see that'll help hold it in position. And using that cystotome, the bent needle, to help hold that in position, and now a capsorexis can be turned. So with that extra hole that was incised, you'll see, we can use a blunt cannula to help fixate that nucleus. So there's the left-hand blunt cannula to help fixate the nucleus, more viscoelastic going inside the eye. Now remember, this lens has a very small diameter, but the anterior to posterior dimension of this lens is very large. So you want to make that 5-millimeter capsular axis, as we're doing right here, which looks great. But keep in mind that 5-millimeter capsular axis may seem very, very large in comparison to the lens diameter. So now, a little bit of run out here of the rexus and bringing that back in. There we go, getting this completed. This is not an easy thing because the anterior surface of the lens capsule is also highly curved. So a little bit of balanced salt solution to get a little higher dissection. Fortunately, this lens nucleus is relatively soft and should be able to be aspirated quite easily. Now the key here is figuring out what are we going to do for capsular support? How are you going to place a new lens in? So in this case, look, no phaco probe needed. The lens is soft enough just using a Simcoe cannula. So doing IA, basically, cortex removal, but the nucleus is so soft, it can just be aspirated at the same time. Now, you don't have to use a Simcoe cannula. You can use a, an automated IA probe, but certainly you don't need any ultrasonic energy. So more viscoelastic. I like that technique, the visco dissection technique. Get the rest of that lens and material up out of the capsule bag and out of the way. And so now more vacuuming it, cleaning up. Now, again, there's going to be very weak capsular support here. The zoners are very, very weak, and you can see how cap that capsule just wants to wrinkle up so much. So if you do place the lens in the capsular bag, you're going to need to do a lot more maneuvers. You're going to need to put in perhaps capsular tension segments and suture in place. Maybe this patient would benefit from other forms of IOL fixation. So we're cleaning up our capsular bag there. And in this case, putting in an iris clip lens. So that's a good choice here because there's really not enough support to have a regular lens. So the iris clip lens, you can put this to the anterior surface of the iris or you can do it to the posterior surface. Now, unfortunately, in the USA, these lenses for pseudophakia are not available. So we don't have this option in the USA. But certainly outside the U.S., you can see you can enclavate the iris and trap it in that hook, in that little pincher arm of this um, IOL. And so now putting the lens into position here, being very careful. I like this two-handed technique. And then now we can use the other hand to get a little bit of iris enclavated in there. And in this case, you also have a nice small little PI, which will be helpful. That peripheral iridotomy is going to be of, of good help. And there's the end of the case. Looks really nice. Lens is staying pretty well centered. Now, there are other options for eye fixation. You certainly can do things such as a sutured lens. You can use it as lens sutured to the sclera. You can use a Yamane. You can put an AC lens in the eye. There are lots of other options. You can put a capsule tension segment on each side, then put a lens in the capsule bag. Again, all these are appropriate options. And I like the technique that Dr. Ravindra has done here. So beautiful outcome. Here we can look at the post-op picture and you can see the patient has a very nice result and the patient's quite happy. So thanks for watching this very unusual case and you may be surprised one day you'll run across it and you'll say, hey, I know how to solve this case. I saw the video on Cataract Coach.